Hi, my name is Damien. I'm a paediatric emergency medicine consultant at the Leicester Royal Infirmary. In 2010, with Dr. Fionn Davies, we created the POP score. POP stands for the Paediatric Observation Priority Score. We did that because we realised within our department we'd made a few communication errors and we were having difficulty working out who the most sick patients were, but probably more importantly, who were the most well patients, those that you could consider getting home as soon as possible, as long as it was safe to do so. Over the last five years, we've been on quite a journey. We've had challenges with implementing and we've been successful in creating a network of uh, other emergency departments who have been interested in using POPs. So what is POPs? Well, it's, it's a pretty simple system. We take physiological parameters, heart rate, breathing rate, saturations and temperature, and they're either a score, uh, assigned a score of zero, one or two, depending on how deranged from normal they are. Then there's a nurse gut feeling score, zero, one or two uh, again. Um, there's the past medical history of the patient, and there is the work of breathing that the uh, patient demonstrates. And that gives you a score from either zero to 16, which allows you to make a judgment on the acuity and level of, uh, I suppose, risk that that patient poses. It doesn't mean a particular score that you have to do a certain thing, but it makes you think, both from a nursing and medical uh, perspective, of the best interventions and treatments for that particular child. I've been at the College of Emergency Medicine conference today to talk in the morning at some of the APEM Lightning sessions on how you can use POPs as a resource uh, tool in your department. You can use the POP score itself to work out and predict how many investigations or treatments a patient may have. We also used it to look at neonatal sepsis. Those children who had a POPs of zero, and that means they had no physiological, no behavioural, no observational problems, and more importantly, this unique thing about the POPs score, the nurse gut feeling, if that's all normal, none of the patients in our 100 uh, that were seen in the department had either serious bacterial illness or spent more than 24 hours in hospital. This afternoon at CHEM, I've talked about how we've implemented POPs in three other emergency, four other emergency departments, sorry, throughout the country. Um, how we did that was, was just give them the tool. We let them implement it in their own particular way. They collected their own data and they fed back to us. And we got some great results and over three and a half thousand patients, POP showed exactly the same parameters as it did in its base institution in Leicester. And what that tells us is, is that there's something about a POPs of four and above that means you're more likely to either be admitted into hospital or, or need an extended length of stay. Now, in Leicester, we've never said that a POP score has to have a certain thing happen to them, but it's great to see the, the physiology and observational characteristics of POPs being played out in different emergency departments and assessment units throughout the UK. And we're really excited by this possibility of just spreading the word in the hope that other emergency departments will use a tool that we've given out uh, for free.